All right, these are the K-tubes. I have one set up here, and then we have one down here on the floor. I'm at Undertaker's Espresso Bar in Tubestone, Arizona. Uh, these are equipment we put out for the people that do our ghost hunts to interact with. Now, the K-tubes, I will say this, they are the most sensitive piece of equipment. K-tubes will go off for anything electric. Like I just put my phone up to that, look at that. That is from my phone. That is not paranormal activity, that is from my phone recording this video. So K2s pick up Wi-Fi. They pick up any type of electric thing that's on, like refrigerators, aquariums. What else, May? I have my team lead here with me, May. Uh, electrical panels, any wiring, if you have a lot of wiring in the wall. Yes, if you have any type of electrical issue, this K2 is gonna be going off like crazy. As you can see, it goes off with our phones. Um, unfortunately, K2s will give you probably the most false negative results because K2s are the most sensitive and all someone has to do is bring out their phone and you're gonna get a false result. Um, this definitely will pick up on any electrical problems in a house. Like if you have the exposed wiring, stuff like that, uh, this is definitely gonna pick up on it. They will pick up on the walkie talkies um, you have to make sure your phone's on airplane mode around them. Uh, but this is definitely the most sensitive piece of equipment we have. Uh, sometimes we can't even use these on investigations if we're in an area that has a lot of things running, like the Wi-Fi, refrigerator, aquarium, anything like that, the K2s will be void. We can't even use them. So I think the K2s probably have the most downfall over any piece of equipment, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah, the K2s are probably the most least reliable equipment that you can use. So that's about the K2.